Hey guys, Harley Brief Dan here with a quick video to show you how to customize your Visual Studio experience. Um, we're going to be taking a look today at just using styles and themes. Uh, if you guys want more tips and stuff on how to customize your Visual Studio experience by like changing templates and stuff, be sure to write down in the comments below. But I kind of wanted to do a quick video to show you how to uh, create or change the colors and stuff of your text and the things that you're highlighting. And we're going to look at three ways to do this. The first way is to manually do it by going to Tools, Options, and then under Environment, you click on Fonts and Colors. And you can change the various things uh, that are in Visual Studio, the different colors, um, based on whatever you're looking at. So, for instance, we can look at comments, right? My comments right now are this pink color. Uh, I can scroll down in this Display Items list and go down to Comments. And I can look at the item background and the item item foreground. So the foreground color is this pink color. I can change that to like let's say a cyan which is going to be a really bright blue. And I can click OK and you can see that change automatically. Let's go back to that and I'll go to options again. We'll go down scroll down to comments and we'll add a background color on it. So I can go to background and I can change the default to let's say a white background. Be really That's going to be extremely hard to read. Let's make it a black background. Uh, we'll make the comments bold and we'll set the size to let's say 20 something really crazy right so here that's gonna set the size of the font to the whole text but we've made all the text in the screen but we've made our comments stand out more with this black background and the cyan blue color and uh, made it bold so it's something if you want to do that you can go ahead and, and manually go through all these and you can change all the different settings that you want but let's say you don't want to do that there's a couple ways you can change themes. One way is to download the Visual Studio 2013 color theme editor uh, which is a extension that's developed by Microsoft. You can download it here. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want. Uh, and when you install this extension it's going to provide under tools a change color theme. It's going to allow you to it's going to add more themes to it. So we can change it to a red theme here. You can see we can change it to let's see a solarized, that's a tan theme if you want. It's basically just changing the window. It's not changing too much of the text editor, right? So it's it's limited, uh, but allows you gives you a convenient way of actually editing your own colors and customizing your themes. So let's say you don't want to do that and you want to find like a fully built theme. Uh, if you remember, I made a video using uh, in Model Develop where I talked about syntax highlighting, and we and we, a lot of questions came up. How are you changing the colors? Uh, instead of that white background, how are you using a darker gray background? And if you remember, I showed you how to use the Monokai uh, theme or style. And you can do the same thing with Visual Studio. And I'll show you, there's a great website called Studio Styles. And I'll definitely put this in the description below. And they have over 3,000 styles you can download from. And uh, basically, it adds, it creates, a, you download a setting, a Visual Studio settings file. And then you just need to point Visual Studio to that settings file. And then it will. Um, run whatever is in that settings file. So here's a few. There's Ragnarok, which is one I was using at the start of the video. We have Son of Obsidian, which is a very popular one. And if we go to schemes here, you can actually you can scroll down. You can see that we have Model Kai is also on the website. So if you switch to Visual Studio and you really like what Model Kai looked like, you can download this theme, this scheme, and you can install it. Uh, so that's what we're going to look at now. So let's say we've downloaded one. Uh, we've downloaded, let's say, Ragnarok, Ragnarok, which is the one I was using. I'm going to change my color theme back to dark. going to zoom out here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and go to Tools, and we'll go to Import and Export Settings. And I'm going to click the Import Selected Environment Settings toggle. And click Next. I don't want to save any of my settings because I don't really care about it. So I'm going to hit No, just Import New Settings click next again and here you are presented the opportunity of finding the settings file that you want so here I have a couple safe settings files it doesn't really matter these are kind of me just playing around testing but here are the recent files these are the ones that I've downloaded so I'm going to click the Ragnarok one I'm click next here it's asking you what settings you want to import I want to import them all so I'm going to check that box I'm going to hit next or finish and it's going to reset the editor to how you know to whatever the settings are for this uh, type so you see it's changed all the colors and stuff of the text and it's organized it um, the way that the settings file dictates there's one problem here is this white bar a lot of the setting a lot of the styles I found uh, off that website have 
don't uh, update the indicator bar and the way you do that is just go to tools options fonts and colors and under display items find the indicator margin uh, and here we can change the item background I'm just going to change it to default gray uh, and it will set itself to the gray so that's pretty much it I'll definitely put the two links for the extension and then the studio styles website in the descri description below uh, if you enjoy this video and you want more kind of videos on how to customize Visual Studio, let me know right down in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll talk to you guys next time.